Hey everyone, Tordug here again. I thought uh, after a year of playing Farm Simulator, I would try and do my part to help the, the noobs out there. One of the best things you can do when starting this game, you hit escape and you go down to what looks like a couple of pieces of paper, contracts. Uh, you can only do three of these at a time, but you can use the bots in the game to help you do these. So what you would do is, uh, if you have no equipment when you're starting out, you borrow the items one at a time, I suggest, because you'll have a big pile of uh, equipment here that you, you know, maybe jumbled up. You won't know whose is whose, and then if you quit the contracts when they're done or uh, accept like, the payment, they'll take away bits and pieces that if they're all jumbled up, you'll, be, you'll lose some of the equipment that's on the fields for other ones. You pretty much just use what they give you. You lose a little bit of money for this, and uh, like fertilizing contracts are one of the ones you should do later because you have to buy the fertilizer, unfortunately. But you just fill her up, see which uh, which field they want you to do is field six. So that's, I think, up top. So you'd set this one over. I guess we can uh, oops, do that. I've got a few things stacked here. So you drive on over. You set up one robot. You do the same thing again for the second contract. Uh, another bot, I would say, as well. And then you can pick the third one yourself. Um, pick maybe the larger ones to do yourself because they will charge you labor for uh, running while they're doing the contracts for you. So you'll lose a bit of money again for leasing the equipment. Let's see. Use your own equipment or lease the equipment for reduce this much, reduce this much, etc. The more, the bigger it is, the more the lease costs. Just from usage, I guess they want to uh, recoup their money to repair their vehicles afterwards. When you're doing it this way, you're getting three contracts done around the same time as it would take you to do one by yourself. Um, it's also a fantastic way to learn how to do the different types of farming. You'll see everything from harvesting grass and baling it for hay to silage, which is uh, two, the two main types that they'll get you to do. <clears throat> which I used personally when I started uh, to figure out how to do some of these things. Some of them are fairly complicated to start. Uh, there'll be other ones for just harvesting crops, which I think they've uh, Giants has fixed. Whereas now you can hand in trailer fulls as you go, I believe. That used to not be the case. You used to have to wait until you were done the whole field and hand in everything at once or it wouldn't count. I believe that's been changed. Um, so you can learn how to harvest. You can learn how to do the types of grass. You can learn how to plant seeds. You can learn how to you know, prepare fields with plowing, cultivating, etc. I'm taking some shortcuts here to, in an effort to make it a bit shorter. Almost there. It's pretty straightforward. Um, there is an achievement for doing 50 of these, so I suggest you do them early on as you learn and you know buy your own. As you can see, I started a new map here. I only owe, own a, a little bit, a little strip of land here. This is my second map. So I kind of learned a bunch of things over the last year playing on my main map, my first map. And uh, it's definitely made it a lot easier this time around for sure. But I still, Started off with contracts. It's a good way to make cash. I went right past. Yes, it's right here. Okay. So since this thing is massive, it's kind of silly, but just for the sake of it, I'll get the robot doing it. It's probably like, it's probably easier for you to do it yourself. You'll see why when it starts, because he's going to shoot uh, fertilizer everywhere. It's a massive fertilizer spray, so you could probably do it almost in one pass. If you did it yourself, but what then you what we you would do is uh, just go back, take another one, borrow the items again. While he's doing that, you jump in, you grab this, you do the same thing, put a little fertilizer in it, drive out, put it on the field, and then do it one more time. But then that time, I would suggest, unless you're working on something else on your own land, that you do the third contract, and then just keep cycling through that way until they're all done for the month, and then flip over the month. You'll find yourself. Having a bit of cash to buy land and start buying your own equipment. And uh, you'll learn all the different types of farming as well. Because it'll, sh it'll lay out all the different types of machinery that you need. 
Let's see if there's another one. Yeah, like for instance, baling. Here we go. This is what I was talking about. Making silage bales. You can see the sheer amount of equipment that's involved. You borrow items. This is why you only do one at a time, so you kind of know which is for which farm. So you got your grass cutting with this and this. It's a back cutter and a front cutter. And you got uh, your wind rower puts it in rows for you. Which, depending if you had a more high-end cutter, you wouldn't need to use the wind rower. It would put it in rows for you. Then you bale it, and then you wrap it, and then you pick them up and deliver them with these. However, there are ways of doing this with better... Bale, uh, whoops, balers such as, here we go, which will bale it and wrap it all in one and then drop them off the back. You can change the color of the foil to whatever. Anyhow, just a quick video. Hope uh, that helps with some of the confusion when you start. I know that Giants wasn't the best at tooltips and things for brand new people who never played any other farm sim games. And uh, hope everyone had a happy new year and I will see you on the next video.